Hey Leo Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you so much for joining me y'all. I have laryngitis, but I'm still going to try to give y'all a reading because I haven't posted in almost a week and that's very unlike me. I don't feel good about that. Okay, I'm a Taurus. I'm a workaholic. That's probably why I'm hoarse. Anyway, take from the reading what resonates. Leave what doesn't. Flip the rose if you need to. Could be past, present, or future energy. Or someone else around you I'm picking up on. Let's get a reading for the week. For the Leo Collective, take what resonates, y'all. Okay, use your discernment. When it comes to your career and finance, what does this week look like for you? We have the Hermit and the Seven of Pentacles. I'm going to take both. Some of you are quiet and grinding. <laughs> That's what you're doing. You're quiet and you're grinding. Your hard work is going to pay off. I feel like you could be shutting out the outside noise. You could be withdrawing from everyone else because you're hard at work on something. Taurus and Virgo energy. Too hard working signs okay you could be patiently waiting for some kind of news on something or for something to grow or um some kind of results here it could feel like a waiting game but you're being patient good things come to those who wait stay patient okay that's a good omen the seven of pentacles when it comes to your love life oh we have the five of pentacles you kick somebody out of your life what you could be doing so this week Somebody's feeling left out in the cold. Could be a Taurus. Mm. Somebody could have hurt their foot recently. In particular, their left foot. I'm seeing both of these cards. The left foot. Well, no. Actually, the right foot is up on a pentacle on this one. But the left foot is standing out. Something about someone's left foot. I don't know what that's about. But when you're gener with your general message, we have the King of Swords. Some of you, your standards are really high right now. You're feeling really serious. It feels like you're serious at work and you don't have time for BS. Okay, this is Aquarius energy. You're feeling very decisive. You're feeling in charge this week. You're feeling head over heart and logical. It's like you don't have time to waste on any foolishness. Nine of Wands. Yeah, some of you, you're really hard at work. And um, <clears throat> yeah, somebody wants to apologize to you for stressing you out here. Oh yeah, somebody really does. It could be a Sagittarius, a Cancer Pisces, a Scorpio, a Gemini. Yeah, but I just see you hard at work, though. Somebody has definitely lied to you or betrayed you. Somebody hasn't been feeling well. You could be working from home right now with the Hermit and the Seven of Pentacles. And it could be because you maybe hurt yourself. Somebody could hurt their foot or something at work. I don't know, y'all. Look at this. Look at his foot. Y'all, what is going on with the left foot? What is going on? I just said that. And, and I was talking about these two cards. And now we get another card with the left foot. And he has a thermometer in his mouth. So somebody, I don't know if you're like, you got a cold or something, some kind of viral infection. Something happened to somebody's foot here. Somebody could be using crutches. Let me get off of that because that's not important. Let's get, I mean, even though I hope you feel better, but that nine of wands tells me that you're stressed about something. I feel like you're at your wit's end with something or you're close to success. So you're turning your attention to what you can control, not what you can't control. What's going on with your money? Manipulated, I will not be controlled. What did I just say? What you can control and giving up what you can't control, right? So this could be a Gemini or a Virgo in your energy. Or you can have those placements in your chart. You could be on a Leo Virgo cusp. This is you being in control. Focus and concentrating on the task at hand. That is the magician, okay? So this is you really learning how to manipulate the energy around you instead of being manipulated by the energy around you. Let's look at this breakup or whatever. We have creative. I write my own story. Again, I feel like you are manifesting the love that you want. This person who has stressed you and left you in this very downtrodden PTSD energy, I feel like you're leaving them behind. Somebody could be sending you flowers. There could be some of you could write for a living. You could journal, especially about your relationships or, or something like that. But I, I just heard like, you know, something is the nail in the coffin with someone. You're, you're taking back your power. Somebody thought they had you where they wanted you and they don't. Show me the King of Swords. This is you being an uh, authority figure over your own life. The King of Swords is very serious. Look at this, a love triangle. So some of you, you could be dealing with the Libra. You could be dealing with the Cancer. You could be dealing with the Capricorn. Um... In Aquarius, it says aspects of your inner self, insecurity, jealousy, and repressed fears. Yeah, but you're getting control over that. Some of you have made a decision here. Somebody could be going through a divorce right now because they found out about a third party. Because this king of swords can represent the judicial system, a judge, 
you know, somebody that's really impartial, who makes wise choices that's fair for everyone. But you're definitely like um, making very, you're very sound minded. It's like there's somebody that maybe you love a lot, but you're, you're like, nah, I'm not going to be second fiddle for you. Now, the seven of pentacles is here and they can represent a friends with benefits kind of situation, a situation that, you know, you were friends with someone and you crossed that line. Bottom of the deck, we have mysterious. There's more to me than what you see. Somebody doesn't see your next move coming. You got to trick up your sleeve, Leo. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.